Hey there, folks. Today we're going to look at uh, shooting water in the middle of the day. And the reason I want to look at this is I really like to shoot with my ultra wide angle Sigma lens. If you go to my reflectedpixel.com in the next seven accessories page, you can see I have a link to this lens. They also make a Nikon and a Canon version of this. It's only for the crop sensor cameras. If you have a full frame camera, this lens is not for you. But um, this lens is amazing. It's very wide, but you'll notice this front end here. There's no way you're going to get a filter on here. Now that's with a grain of salt. There is a couple of ways you could build a thing to put a filter on here, but I'm going to show you an easier way to get this silky water look like this or you can even go smoother it's just a matter of how many frames you're willing to shoot so let's jump over into Lightroom and we'll have a look here so you can see I have these 14 images and they are all just your standard middle of the day waterfall shots very sharp okay all you do in Lightroom first thing you need to do is make any adjustments to all the pictures at the same time. Just go right down here in develop mode, turn on auto sync or any other way you process pictures, just make sure they're all the same. Then go right up under photo, choose edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. Of course there are other ways you can do this. You need them all in Photoshop, all as layers. Choose that and then you end up in Photoshop with a bunch of layers, right? Every layer has a slightly different version of this water. Then simply choose, well, first of all, just to make sure, auto align layers. Even though you're on a tripod, maybe it was rock solid, just to make sure I'd choose auto align layers right from the get go. So now that our layers are aligned, I'm just going to turn this to 8 bits just to speed up the processing. You wouldn't have to. We're going to turn these into a smart object, which this is my preferred way to go in case I show that I need to go back later. So just so you convert that to a smart object, first step. That way we can always go back in and do individual touch-ups or if we forgot to align the layers we could do it at that point. And finally we're going to choose layer, smart object, stack mode, mean. It's a mean stack mode. Ooh, mean. So there you have it. Smart object Layers ready to roll. So if you don't have a neutral density filter and yet you need to blur something, preferably use a tripod but take a lot of shots. The more shots you do, the smoother you'll be able to get the blur of the water. So that's pretty cool I think. And especially if you use a lens like the Nikon 14 to 24 or the Sigma 8 to 8 to 16 any of these that are really difficult to work with filters on this is a great tip hey be sure to check out my other YouTube videos check out my blog at reflectedpixel.com I've also got image galleries up there you can feel free to check them out or check out my Amazon links thank you for watching <laughs>